If you're looking for a way to sell digital products online from eBooks, key codes, licenses to your software, uh, music or themes, or like any physical product like paperback books, t-shirts, or anything else you need to ship, DPD is a great standalone shopping cart and file delivery solution that can integrate with any website or social media. So I've personally been using DPD for about five years now to sell my books and video courses on my other websites. So in this video, I'd like to share my personal experience and help you decide whether DPD might be a good fit for your online business. Hey, I'm Matt from Online Business Tech, where I do tutorials and reviews to help you in your online business. So DPD does provide you with a store page that shows all of your products. So you can share that directly if you don't have a website. However, if you do have a website, whether it's on WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, or wherever, or even if you just have like a social media presence, you can use the button code generator to create a custom button or simply grab a link to your product and place it wherever you want on your website. So that's what I've done on my website. So this is a single page WordPress site and the buy buttons link to the DPD add to cart. So the checkout process actually happens on DPD through one of several payment processors that you can choose from, including Stripe or PayPal. And DPD does not take a cut out of your sales. So you get 100% of the revenue deposited directly into your account. So for example, if you have a merchant account with Stripe, you can have your money deposited into your checking account within minutes if you enable instant payouts. I think by default, it's like two days, uh, but you can upgrade to instant payouts to have your money deposited right away. So although the checkout does happen on DPD, you can customize the look of the checkout pages to more closely match your branding on your website. So instead of taking a cut out of your revenue, DPD starts at $10 a month, no matter how many sales you make. So that's like unlimited bandwidth for downloading and delivering your files and unlimited sales. So the $10 a month plan gets you one gigabyte worth of space for your files and a total of 20 products. And prices go up from there. They're really pretty reasonable depending on how much storage you need and how many products you need. So you might be wondering why would you wanna use DPD instead of a shopping cart system that's more integrated with your website's platform. So for example, if you have WordPress, you can use the WooCommerce plugin for free, or if you're on Shopify, they allow you to sell digital products as well. Now, if you're only selling physical products, then using some of these uh, platforms will probably be better. But for digital products, DPD is much more specialized and has way more features specifically for selling digital products. So for example, with DPD, each product can be customized to deliver any number of files and any number of key codes. And um, there's some advanced features with each of those actions. So for example, if you're using if you're using DPD to sell an ebook as a PDF, DPD can add a unique watermark stamp to each page of the PDF showing the customer's name, email, and transaction ID in order to help prevent unauthorized distribution. Or if you're selling software licenses or coupons or gift codes, um, you can use the key code feature to deliver a key code in a number of different ways. So first you can copy and paste a list of key codes that you've already generated yourself and DPD will deliver one key code to each buyer of the product. And you know you can set up a warning uh, to notify you when you're starting to run low on keys. And you can also choose whether you wanna disable the product when you run out of keys or if you want customers to still be able to purchase it. So most times when you use this mode, you'll probably insert a list of unique codes. So each buyer gets a different code, um, but you could also get creative with this. For example, like if you were to launch a product where you want the first 100 people who buy it to get 
a 50% off coupon for their next purchase, then you could only paste in a hundred coupons. And then after those hundred coupons are gone, you know, no more would be delivered. So there's really a lot of flexibility there. Now, if you're not too worried about providing a unique code to each buyer, you could use the single key method to deliver the same code to all buyers. So this is nice because you'll never run out of keys, but you do risk having some people like share the code online with other people um, and there'd be no way to know who shared it. And lastly, if you're a developer and you have your own custom licensing system for your software, you can also use the key code URL method to have DPD retrieve a key code at the time of purchase. So what it'll do is it'll send the customer and purchase info to a URL that you specify and you'll just need to have it respond with the key code to uh, be provided to the buyer. Now, one feature I found really helpful is the bundle product type. So what this allows me to do is bundle together several products. So for example, I actually sell an ebook on my other website, and I also sell a bundle that has the ebook plus a physical paperback version. But the cool thing is if I ever need to update the ebook file, I only need to update it in the original product and wherever that product is included in a bundle, it'll get updated there automatically. And then I can simply create a product update email and it'll notify everyone who's purchased the product either directly or as part of a bundle. So it'll tell them there's been an update and they can download it again. All right, so let's look at what happens when someone places an order. So if the product is 100% digital, the user will be forwarded to a page where they can download their files. And they'll also get an email with a download link in case they need it in the future or if they missed the download page. Now you get to decide how long these links are good for. So each one is unique. Um, it's generated uniquely for each customer and it's set to expire after a period of time. That way people can't share the download link with other people. And don't worry if you ever get a customer email you saying that their link is expired, you can easily look up past purchases and reactivate their downloads. So orders appear on the orders page on your dashboard. And if there's a physical product that needs to be shipped, you'll see this icon on the order. So once you've shipped it, you can mark it as shipped and you're all set. So as far as selling physical products, you have all the basic features you'd expect for selling simple products like tax and shipping calculations. But if you are looking for more advanced features like being able to have product variations or image galleries or direct integrations with drop shipping services or other third party services, you're probably better off using a different platform. So DPD is really specialized for uh, digital products. So if you have a WordPress website, you can actually install the WooCommerce shopping cart plugin for free. It'll integrate directly with your site's theme and you can also use Stripe or PayPal with it, just like with DPD, but there's no monthly fee. However, if you wanna get the same functionality that DPD has, you'll have to search for and install several plugins. Now there are some official WooCommerce plugins that you'll have to pay for, um, but there are uh, plenty of third-party developers that make all sorts of plugins that you can explore. A lot of them are free, a lot of them are paid. Um, so the big drawback to that is, you know, you're depending on several independent third-party developers to continually develop and maintain the plugins you're depending on. And it's not always easy to predict how they're gonna interact with each other. DPD, on the other hand, has a lot of these features and functionality built right in, all designed to work together, all designed by the same developer. So for instance, DPD has a built-in affiliate program manager, so you can recruit people to promote your products and award them a commission. Um, and there's also several built-in marketing integrations and tracking integrations. Now with WooCommerce, you'd have to find plugins for all of these features, as well as you know a key code delivery plugin if that's a feature you need. So overall, I would definitely recommend using DPD if you're selling digital products and want a reliable selling platform that has the flexibility and features made specifically for digital products. 
So if you'd like to sign up, again, it starts at just $10 a month and you can use my affiliate link in the description below to sign up. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. If you have any questions, like I said, I've used DPD for like five years, so I know the platform uh, pretty much inside and out. So uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions. If I, I, I didn't cover everything in this video, but I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. So um, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.